Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover the in-game news that got released today. So you guys can see right here the Magitek Runes uh, central area will become available so that's part of the raid event that's going on right now. So on Friday this will start former Aldor Magitek Energy Core so let's see what little Mog has to say about that. So the boss uses both physical attacks and strong magic attacks of fire, ice, lightning, and wind element. So it is recommended to bring units that can shield against magic attacks. So uh, magic cover tank is going to be doing really, really good here. So its resistance to ice, lightning, water, and earth will decrease greatly depending on the ability used. So ident identify his weaknesses to inflict massive damage. Kupo, be wary of its ultimate counter move, rage about which can instantly kill your entire party if the core is defeated before the pedestal cupola. So uh, this is really cool, so basically meaning that if you attack, uh, I guess, the crystal and you kill it, while well, uh, the rest of the machine is gonna go rampage and kill uh, all your party, which is really cool, which reminds me a little bit of the fight from Final Fantasy XIV with uh, the Garuda, where you, uh, you couldn't kill the pedestal or uh, the um, monolith first, or else Garuda would go crazy and kill you. So uh, this is really cool. And we got some really, really good equipment, guys. And I gotta say, they went they went out of the way for this one. So basically, mission, uh, completion, reward, complete the quest. You get Malboro Doll, which is a hat. Defense and spirit, plus 30. And look at this right here. Boost resistance to poison, blind, sleep, silent, paralysis, confusion, disease, and stone. So this thing is really, really, really good. So if you guys don't have the... Uh, their hairpin, uh, I think it's from CG Fina or Lotus Mage Fina. If you guys don't have her TMR, this thing right here is really, really good. So, use green magic, you get defense system raid coins, you get 10,000 of them, which is not crazy. Uh, no limit burst, you get two rare summon tickets, which is always good. And deal ice, lightning, water, and earth damage to an enemy, you get a 5% Moogle, which is really, really nice. And uh, like always, they're gonna tell you to use these units, but make your own party. So this is really good. Uh, so make sure you grab this little Malboro doll, because this thing is really, really cute. And I can only imagine one character wearing this on their head going to fight a boss. That must be really, really funny. Then we're gonna move on to the next one. Here's your chance to obtain a 5-star select summon ticket, guys. Final Fantasy VI Event Dungeon, the Figaro Castle. Uh, this is going to be the new event that's going to be out, so this thing is brand new. Here's a chance to basically farm some tickets uh, and get all kinds of good stuff, so let's go over here. And uh, on this one, we're going to be able to get some walnuts, which uh, walnuts are actually really, really good, uh, depending if you like nuts or not. So, beginner request, you get a rare summon tickets, then obviously you do intermediate and uh, advanced pro, you're gonna get some more walnuts. Elite quest, you get 500 lapis, so yes please, we need those lapis. Legendary quest, you get 5,000 nuts. Yeah, 5,000 nuts, just like that. So here's some of the stuff you're gonna be able to get from uh, Mr. King Mog itself. The 5 star select summon ticket, uh, we're also gonna get the royal crown. Which is Defense 28, Spirit 35, enables Proof of Royalty, basically boosts your attack, magic, and HP by 10%. So if you guys are a newer player to the game, uh, this thing might be really, really good. Also, the Thunder Shield, grab that thing, just in case, because having that increase uh, in Lightning Resistance is really good, since you can put that on a Magic Cover Tank and basically boost your... Uh, Thunder resistance by 50%. That's really, really good. So, all right, make sure you grab this because this thing could actually come in handy. And uh, fraternal power boost HP by 10%, attack and spirit by 5%. Uh, only get this if you just started the game and you're probably it's your second or third week and you basically have no HP 10% or attack. So, grab this. But for the rest, uh, you don't really need it. Then, I uh, get a lot of walnuts, so these things are going to pop up, the Sanry and the Golden Bomb, so obviously if you fight them and you kill them, you're going to get a bonus to those walnuts, uh, Demon Killer and Aquan Killer is going to be effective, and these are going to be the bonus units, and we're going to talk about them right now, which is Edgar and Mr. Seven right here, so uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one, I want to try to get some summon tickets as much as possible, because Aerith... Aerith and Red 13 will be coming out soon, hopefully, and Aerith is really, really good. So make sure you keep your tickets for the units that you want, guys. So let's go over that. Uh, the Banner King, Edgar, 
of Figaro and Monk, seven of Colts. Uh, basically, Setzer and Celeste are going to be there again. So if you guys have these units already, you're going to be able to use them as bonus. And uh, here's the step of seven. Basically, 25k Lapis. Uh, you see those little coins right here, the purple coins. We're going to talk about them. And uh, yeah, we'll see exactly what they have to offer. And uh, the step up is pretty much pretty much pretty much similar to all of the others now uh, it's a 9 plus 2 9 plus 2 8 plus 3 9 plus 2 and 8 plus 3 you're going to be guaranteed either one at the end and you're going to be able to get those uh five star ticket basically once you do a full run you get four of them and you're going to have a 30 percent chance to basically summon you're going to get a rainbow guaranteed the only thing is i think it's 30 percent chance of being a banner unit so one of the two right here so master Edgar, King Edgar, we're going to call him by his full name, Kid King Edgar of Figaro. Uh, he's a kind of a support type and uh, mag uh, magic and uh, physical damage dealer. He's really good against monsters, machine of monsters, but the, he shines on his uh, trust, uh, on his trust master, on his uh, limit burst. And we're going to go over it right here. So that's on the JP side. They might change it for global, but on the JP side, it's AoE 30 hits. 2200% physical attack it's aoe all right aoe attack defense and magic spirit break 84 percent for one turn then it basically becomes 74 percent break to attack defense magic and spirit for two turns and then a 64 percent break uh, for all four stats for three turns so uh yeah really really nice and he's basically able to self lb gauge fill plus eight so uh, spam that limit burst is going to be really good and you guys can chain his limit burst. But let's go over his super trust master first and then we're going to go over Mr. Sabin. So coin of fate, Edgar, attack plus 50, nullify poison, blind sleep, silence, paralysis, confusion, disease and stone and boost LB gauge fill rate. So that thing is really, really nice, really high on attack. So uh, but chances are getting four of him is going to be kind of hard and I would probably keep two seven star basically to chain them together or stuff like that that could be a little bit better but you never know if you pull eight of him well i get that super trust master then his trust master is a materia boost mp by 20 percent attack by 40 percent and boost physical damage against machine a monster uh hopefully this is something like 50 percent boost that would be really really good and if they want to make it more like 75 percent hey by all means gumi do it his featured abilities he has uh bravo figaro Reduce attack, defense, magic, and spirit, and water and earth resistance for one enemy, and boost LBH fill rate. Royal shock, consume own HP to deal partial and mitigated damage to all enemies. And air anchor, damage one enemy and reduce their attack, defense, magic, and spirit the next turn. Then we're going to go over Mr. Monk Sabin. Uh, you can chain his abilities. He basically does some fire and wind. We're going to go over his uh, limit burst because that's where uh, things can get out of hands. All right. So again, on the JP side, I'm reading everything right here. Single target, 52 hits, 1,750% physical attack with ignore 50% defense. So uh, if you guys have four of him or basically two of him and you make him a seven star and you chain that limit burst, uh, you can do a little, a little bit, a little bit of a lot of damage. So basically, this is once you maxed out this limit, limit burst level 30, uh, 52 hits. That's a big chain. So uh, good things can happen with uh, Mr. Monk Sabin of Colts. So yeah, uh, a super trust master, a little bit like uh, Edgar, Coin of Fate Sabin. Him is attack plus 55, enables training pays off, boost HP by 30% and boost attack by 60% with equipped with fists. Uh, trust master ward uh, piece of material long training pays off uh, oh, All right, almost the same thing is here restore HP every turn and boost attack by 60% with equipped with fit So right here if you get both of them you can get hundred and twenty percent on uh, equipped fist, which is really really good uh, So this guy is pretty cool. I like his design. He looks really really cool. He looks a little bit like uh, what's his name? From uh, Street Fighter 2. Guy. He looks, he looks a little bit like Guy ready to punch some people out. Then his featured abilities. Tiger, ba tiger Break. Deal partial and mitigate damage to one enemy. Uh, breathing Technique. Restore own HP. Remove attack, defense, magic and spirit reduction. Boost damage of certain abilities. And a boost triple blitz for one turn. Uh, then Phantom Rush. Deal partial and mitigate damage to one enemy. Then obviously we got Setzer. 
and the girl Celeste right here that they've been in the game for a long time. And uh, I gotta say, guys, you might be getting a lot of her. And uh, this thing right here, her Trust Master Minerva's bust here, is really, really good. All right. So boost fire, ice, lightning, and wind resistance. Females only. Uh, if you guys are starting the game and you still have a uh, Mystia as your magic cover tank, this thing right here could be really, really useful. But enough with this one. We're gonna move on to the next one. So uh, obviously like I spoke before about uh, those tickets that you're going to be getting if you do the step of banner. You get four of them, you're going to be able to summon and you get a 30% chance to get a featured unit whether it's Edgar or Sabin. Then the exchange coins, those little, little purple coins, uh, you're going to be able to exchange them for some good stuff. And uh, wait, I saw it before. I saw it before right here. So you guys will be able to exchange those coins. Uh, you're going to have the exchange shop right here uh for basically five star select summon ticket some uh i think it's a 50 percent moogle that you're going to be able to get in there and some cactuars uh i read it before yeah right here so you can exchange for items such as five star select summon ticket a five percent trust moogle all 50 percent which is really really nice a four star plus guaranteed ticket and a five star trust moogle all 10 percent so as you're going to be summing, you're going to be getting more of these coins and you're going to be able to trade these coins for basically good stuff. Then we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, the login bonus for FF6. So Final Fantasy 6. This is what we're going to be getting. So on day 1, 100 Lapis. Day 2, 1% day Moogle. Day 3, 200 Lapis. Uh, we're going to get another 1% Moogle on day 4. Rare Summon Ticket and Rare Summon Ticket, which is really, really nice. I love those tickets. Then this is the this is the best for me. Uh, I was I was waiting for this one for a long time, guys. So basically, Sephiroth, Ability Awakening, Leela, Sephiroth, and Atoning Dragoon Kane, Pure Summoner, uh, Kid Rydia, Lexa, Elvis, Emperor Shira, and Yang. But let's be honest, the one I'm looking for the most is right here in the left. No, I'm kidding. We're actually talking about Sephiroth. So we're gonna go over Sephiroth right here, and he is now gonna become a true double hand character. And I think it's right here. So basically, uh, yeah. So it's attack 20%, basically boost attack, ability name changes. Attack 30%, effect remove, ability changes to two-folded technique. So basically what you're going to be able to do, it's a dual cast, uh, dual technique. So you're going to be able to dual cast some of his abilities, which is going to be really, really cool. And uh, yeah, so now he is going to become a true double end character and he is really, really strong. And the Evans Web right here will get a buff also. His legendary soldiers will be getting a buff also. Uh, Katana Mastery also. So this guy is going to be doing even more damage. So if you guys don't have that many chainers or don't have Axstar, uh, Heal, or any characters like that, well, Sephiroth is going to be a monster. And guess what? I am going to be awakening his abilities and hopefully they're gonna fix the thing where Leela and atoning dragoon cane can fix uh can chain a little bit better because uh they had said that they had fixed the um the frame rate for their chaining but let's be honest uh i've tried it and their chaining still breaks a lot so hopefully they're gonna fix this and make these two characters chain a little bit better because you know what they're really cool looking they're really really cool looking but this guy in the middle my dude you're gonna be strong then we're gonna move on to the next one uh this is regarding all the uh the bans they did for 30 days so we will read this right now uh so in regards to the platform reform abuse mentioned in the previous news the applicable the applicable account suspensions have been implemented to users found accountable uh, in most cases a 30-day suspension will while severe cases have been permanently suspended. So we will continue to conduct regular checks for such offense, offenses. Any users found accountable of such action will receive an account suspension. This measures is in line with our continuous effort to deliver a better gaming experience to all our players. Please contact, contact our customer support if you feel you have been wrongly suspended. So guys, uh... Don't cheat the game. I know uh, sometimes, Gumi, you might think that, hey, they deserve that. They screw us over so many times. But don't cheat the game because uh, at the end of the day, they have the big hammer to drop. If they want to suspend your account, they can suspend. So, And uh, you know what? Just uh, play the game. Relax. We're going to have some fun. And uh, hopefully this Friday, 
everything's gonna go well especially after those awakening abilities and uh we're gonna see if we're gonna take on the magitech this dude right here we're gonna take on this one because uh i want to see how the fight goes hopefully it's not gonna finish in one turn with esther or uh Axtar. so let's see exactly what we can do here then on the last one obviously the easy one maintenance will be scheduled on wednesday night so make sure you do everything before the game goes into maintenance and the real question guys wait this is the real question are you going to be summoning on this banner is edgar or sabin one of your favorite characters they're going to be really really good they're not bad they're good but are you going to be summoning for them please let me know down below in the comment section on this note guys thank you so much for watching this video please leave a like down below subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace